I've talked about this a little bit in the past on my channel, but one of the main reasons that I decided to finally get a 3D printer was because I was really into helmets. What well, was, I still am very into making helmets. And at the time, a lot of the Etsy sellers that I was seeing were selling their raw 3D printed helmets for about $100. Now, the printer that I had at the very beginning, which was a Creality CR10, that was about a $400 purchase. So what I told myself was, if I get this printer and if I make four helmets, then I've essentially broken even in my eyes. So I bit the bullet back in 2018 and more than paid for itself by printing out multiple helmets over the years. And I was even able to upgrade to two CR10Ss last year after I took a couple of commissions and the rest is history. What started off as kind of like a way for me to budget my way into making more helmets has really become a new whole hobby in and of itself for me. Now, whenever it comes to 3D printing armor, it's not nearly as cut and dry as printing out a helmet and saying that it would go for about $100. Whenever you're 3D printing armor, there are multiple things that you need to consider, including things like scaling the armor appropriately to yourself, as well as just like what the type of armor that you want to print. So for example, there are things like clone troopers, which have, you know, head to toe complete full armor and there's barely any kind of like wiggle room with that. Then there's something like the Mandalorian or Bo-Katan where there's a lot of really big pieces of armor, but there's still not a lot like on the legs and things like that. And then there's something like my Imperial Jin Urso costume that I made that really was just the chest and the back piece that's 3D printed. So as you can probably imagine, I was a little bit flustered in trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to present this idea of figuring out just how much it is to print out armor to you guys. But whenever I sat down to film the talking points of this video, I realized pretty quickly that it's actually a very simple math problem that I use to figure out just how much filament as well as time it's going to take. And it's really not as expensive as you might think it is to print out armor. But before I get into that, I have a couple of really exciting announcements that I want to share with you and I'm just gonna pop them in right here. So the first one is that I was actually asked to be a guest on the Armor Party Show podcast and I will link that down below. It actually just came out yesterday, I believe, from the time that I'm filming this. And yeah, I had a great time talking with Mike and we were like talk shop about Star Wars costumes and 3D printing and all that stuff. He's talked to a lot of other cool, you know, Star Wars people in the community like Luke Daly. Um, he does a lot of like machine work for Bo-Katan costumes and The Mandalorian as well as Mike Quinones, who I'm almost positive I bought a Shore Trooper shirt from back in the day in 2017. Like I'm almost positive he was the guy. So give that a listen if you got the time and obviously I'm a little bit partial to my episode but you know there's other good ones too. <laughs> And the second announcement, and I'm, I am so excited about this because I've been using their product for literal years and I think it was the first filament I ever used on my printer. I am an affiliate of Xyltec Filament. I, like I said, I've been using this since 2018. It has been the most reliable as well as the most cost effective filament that I've used. I specifically use their PLA and I use their big Texas size spools that have like five kilograms of filament on them. If you use the code VaultFox whenever you're checking out, you will get 15% off your next filament order and you will see later on in the video that I actually use this coupon code to my advantage to make my armor printing costs a lot lower. So definitely go check out Zyltec if you are in the market for a new filament or just to replenish your stash. And as always guys, I'm not sure if you know, whenever you use like the Amazon links down below and any kind of affiliate codes that I have, all that money goes directly back into the channel and it really helps me to kind of level up my videos for you guys, as well as providing for like supplies like foam and filament and things for the channel. I really appreciate you guys using those links. It really does help. It does not go unnoticed. So thank you guys so much for supporting me in that way. So back to our original question that we had before my whole little spiel. How much does it cost to 3D print armor? The answer boils down to a very simple equation. The total amount of filament in grams that all of your prints will need to take divided by the amount of filament on a roll in grams multiplied by the cost of your roll or rolls of filament. A roll of PLA filament, which will usually contain about one kilogram or 1000 grams of filament will run you about 15 to 20 bucks. So all we need to do to determine the cost of our 3D printed armor is to estimate just how many grams of filament it's going to need to take. And to do that, I'm just going to hop right on into my favorite slicer, Cura. All right, I'm going to be walking you through the cost of printing out a set of Bo-Katan files that I got from both Mystery Makers Patreon as well as Chameleon FX. I'll have a link to download all these files down below as well as the settings that I'm going to be using in this video because kind of settings that you have within your slicer are going to play a factor in just how much filament you're going to be using on your prints as well as the time that your prints are going to take to finish. So everything in this video is going to be using these specific settings unless I otherwise state them. So I'm using 0.28 millimeter layer height. I'm using 15% infill with a grid pattern. I've got my printer printing at 120 millimeters per second on the print speed. I've got generate supports checked. I have support placement set to everywhere. I have 35% support overhang angle, 5% support density, as well as a raft as my build plate adhesion. So before I get into the breakdown of each piece of armor I printed, I'm actually going to price out the cost of my 3D files. 
I decided to get a set of armor from Chameleon FX. I bought the jetpack and the backplate from him, and I got a nice little discount of 40 bucks on those files. And Mystery Maker's Patreon was 15 bucks a month, and I was able to get all the other pieces of armor from him as well as the helmet. So that's $55 total for all of my files. You can obviously shop around and try and get cheaper files. You can find stuff from Thingiverse. Personally, I just like to support 3D modelers because if we didn't have 3D modelers, we really wouldn't have this hobby. Support your 3D modelers, people. Stop stealing models. <laughs> so figuring out how much filament a print is going to take is pretty simple. Whenever you're done orienting your print in Kira and you go down to the bottom right, you're going to click on the button slice. Once you do that, Kira is then going to spit out an estimate of how much time your print is going to take as well as how much filament it's going to take in grams. Now, obviously this is an estimate. This is not 100% correct, but it does give us something to go off of in terms of pricing things out later. So for example, I've got the top of Bo's chest armor here. And when I go to slice it, it says it'll need 410 grams of filament to complete this print. Now remember this print is being printed with generated supports on. You can choose to place your own custom supports on some of these models and you will find that you can reduce your supply costs that way. So here I place some of those on the same piece of armor. And as you can see, I'm getting a total of 254 grams of filament needed. So for our running total, I'm going to actually be using the 410 grams of filament. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be using all of the ones that have the generated supports checked on just so we have some kind of consistency in our list. I'm also going to note down that the amount of time is 32 hours or one day and seven hours, but I'll just be keeping everything in hours and rounding up as we go along to make things a little bit simpler. Another important thing to note is how you orient your prints on the print bed. For example, with Bo's shoulder here, I placed it with the thinner side down and I got a total amount of 182 grams of filament needed. And this is the cost for one shoulder. So remember, we're just going to have to multiply that by two, which is 364. And the time to print out one shoulder is 14 hours and 27 minutes. So for two pieces, that would be about 29 hours total. And whenever the shoulder is placed with the wider brim on the build plate, it shows 161 grams to complete and multiplied by two, that is 322 grams. So hopefully you get the picture of what I'm going for here. And the time for one of these is 11 hours and 38 minutes. So multiplied by two is about 24 hours. And as for the rest of the armor pieces on Bo-Katan, I'm gonna be doing a lightning round for you guys. So strap in. The bottom of the chest armor comes in at 82 grams of filament for a total of five hours and 33 minutes of print time. The bottom belly piece is 27 grams of filament and one hour and 40 minutes of print time. The hand armor of which we'll need two is 30 grams total and two hours and 49 minutes of print time. The knee armor will also need two of those and we're going to need 86 grams total with a total amount of six hours and 27 minutes of print time. The shin armor, again, we'll need two of those and that's gonna be 325 grams for a total of 21 hours and 26 minutes of print time. The thigh armor, again, we're gonna need two of those because we've got two thighs or I hope we have two thighs. Um, no hate to people that don't have two thighs. You're gonna need 233 grams of filament for both of those and 19 hours and 50 minutes of print time. The left gauntlet is in multiple pieces, but for the body pieces, we're going to need 125 grams of filament for a total of 18 hours and 11 minutes of print time. Right gauntlet body pieces are 212 grams of filament and 20 hours 21 minutes of print time. The right and left greebly bits are about 20-ish grams of filament and it was like maybe an hour or so of print time. The jetpack that I have here in all one piece and 15% infill is going to take 1,302 grams of filament and will take about three days, one hour and 49 minutes to print. The back plate, which has 25% infill and is an all one piece, that's gonna be 451 grams and one day, six hours and 18 minutes to print. We'll need two shoulder straps and those are gonna have 25% infill and there will be 57 grams of filament used there with four hours and 31 minutes of print time. And last, we've got our helmet, which if you want to see that whole process of getting that oriented and everything onto your bed with less supports, I will link that video for you guys up above. But for our helmet, that's gonna take us 782 grams of filament and two days, 13 hours and nine minutes of print time. And I realized that for a few of those, I said, the time in days and hours. And I said, I was gonna give it all to you in hours, but whenever it's on the screen, it'll be in hours, I promise. <laughs> Adding all of that together gives us a grand total of 5,957 grams. Now we're going to go back to our original equation. So if we've got one roll of filament that is $20 and contains about one kilogram or 1,000 grams of filament, we're gonna divide our grand total of filament in grams by 1,000. And in my case, we're going to get 5.657. And then we're going to take this number and multiply it by 20, which is the cost of a roll of filament. And we get $113.14 in just filament costs alone. And whenever you add your 3D printed files onto that, we're going to get a grand total of $168.14. And like I said earlier, to save even more money in terms of filament costs, I use these larger five kilogram spools of filament from Xyltech and I get those for 75 bucks with my coupon code. So I've got 
seven grams divided by 5,000 here, and that equals 1.2. I just rounded it up for, you know, simplicity's sake. Multiplied by 75 equals $90. So I would be saving around $23 for this particular set of armor by printing with these five kilogram spools. So around 90 to 113 bucks for your base filament cost is actually pretty good. But if you still feel that that's a little bit steep, let me point you over to Etsy. And this is in no way meaning to dog on people and how they're pricing their 3D prints on Etsy. That is not what this is for. I'm just showing you this so you have a little bit of context. But there are people on Etsy and myself included whenever I was selling these files that are selling things like the shins for about, you know, $50 plus shipping and the, you know, a chest piece for about 70 bucks. So right there, that's what, $120 for two pieces of armor. I know that owning a 3D printer is not for everybody, but I always like to kind of advocate that as an avenue to explore. If you're already buying raw 3D printed parts on Etsy, then it might be advantageous for you to look into maybe investing in one if you have the space and the time, of course. And like I said before, this is not to dog on Etsy prices because whenever you're paying these prices, you are paying for not only the filament, you're paying for that printer's time, you're paying for that person to actually, you know, clean up the prints, you're paying for a lot of other things that go into it. So I'm not saying that these prices are out of range. They're actually pretty, you know, they're pretty standard for what pieces of armor would go for on Etsy. I just want to let you know that there is an option if you're willing to come into the world of 3D printing. And that's how I figure out just how much a set of armor is going to cost for me to print. And in my opinion, 3D printing armor is a pretty cost effective way to get all of my armor needs, you know, satiated. And it just comes along with the occasional annoyance of owning a 3D printer. <laughs> I hope that this video helped you out in some way, even if it just showed you just how cheap it can be to 3D print your own armor, or if it just completely turned you off to 3D printing, that is a totally valid response as well. Thank you all so much for watching as always, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Sorry, my husband's asking me if, if AHA is okay, yes. Which I have at 15% infill and all one piece is going to take a hundred... <laughs>